Hello there, my name is Carlo and welcome to another tutorial. Um, we are going to be focusing on Cinema 4D today. Um, I just thought I might try and teach you guys or try to explain um, about animating in Cinema 4D um, and basically using your keyframes in Cinema 4D. Um, this is basically targeted at beginners. Um, to basically just give you a concept of how it works um, and to basically get you started now before we begin there is a few types of animation um, or keyframing as we call it um, there's simple keyframing and there's more advanced keyframing um, so what do I mean by that okay so first of all what I'll do is I'll show you how to do it very quickly with one object and then I'll explain to you the next part um, which is the more complex side of animating or using your keyframes okay so let's just come up here to this box we're going to click on here and let's just create a cube for now okay so we've got our cube here in the center of our grid and um, always remember and I don't mean to insult people's intelligence when you're animating there is always a point of origin and an end point so what I mean is there's always a start there's always a finish okay so what you want to do is say for instance I'm going to animate this box you start it in a position where say for instance I want it to start there which will be your point of origin and then what you're focusing on is getting it to your end point which is your destination so I've got my box at my point of origin um, which is a single object so it's only basically one object to animate so what I want to do is I want to focus on this point here right here um, this is your keyframe section this is where all your animation and anything you move will appear basically in so many words it will all appear here in blocks okay in this section here um, you've got your manual keyframing and your automatic keyframing now automatic keyframing is good if you know or you're quite confident in keyframing um, for instance if I was to cl click on this and then move my keyframe along from that point on anywhere I move this box it will add a keyframe automatically in my timeline but if you're a beginner what I want to do is just focus on this little button here so we've got our boxes here so obviously our naught is our start point which is our point of origin and our end point here is our destination point okay so it all depends basically how long you want your uh, animation to last for so by default cinema 4d will set it to 90 frames so there will only be 90 frames in this animation yeah. Um, the, l the more keyframes you have the longer your animation will be obviously um, so what I'll do is I'll just show you a keyframe now um, so you can understand where I'm coming from um, and then we'll go from here so right so we're at point zero so what we want to do is we're going to hit this button here and that will give us a little grey box here which is basically our first keyframe so then we're going to move the slider say for instance 10 seconds leave it at that then we're going to drag our box all the way along and then we're going to tell it what we're going to do by hitting this button here we're going to tell cinema 4d that is where we want the keyframe to end so when I scrub back for our timeline you can see our box is moving now obviously because it's only 10 frames it's going to be a very very quick animation because it's only 10 frames long but what you can do you can left click on your mouse button and you can drag this along to 35 and what that will do is will make it slower right so if I drag it even further and bring this to the start it will make your animation even slower so the more keyframes you've got for the one object so the, the, the more keyframes you've got the slower object would run so if I put that far all the way to 90 frames 
apply it back here that will run even slower right so like that so it's very simple and very straightforward now say for instance we want this box to do something else in between that gap so what we would do is say we go to you want it to start there like I said in between the keyframe there's always a start and an end so there's a start at the end of the start of the project and at the end of your project and even in the middle there's a start and, a, and an end to your project because say for instance I go to 30 frames this will be the start of where this animation will start and wherever I go place the keyframe so say for instance I want this to go up okay so what I'm going to do I hit a keyframe I'm going to bring it across to about 50 and then I'm going to raise it up then I'm going to hit my keyframe again now as you can see it's given me a loop so if I go all the way back what we've done is created a jump effect the box and you could basically add anything you want to this you know you can you can be dynamic so say for instance we go to about there if I hit my keyframe again and then move my box over like so sorry I did that wrong what a div so I bring it there then move my keyframe to about there then I wanted it to slide off to there and hit my keyframe again what we've done is we've created another movement because it's basically where I placed it so if I play it now I'm going to go all the way up I'm going to go to the side and around like so like that right so basically um, by that obviously you know practice makes perfect so give, give it a practice the best thing to do is practice doing it and the more you practice the better you'll become at it right so now what I was trying to tell you about the more advanced um, animation so if I just go file a new okay we've created a new project say for instance I was going to animate a character now obviously a character is very different to a box because a character has got more parts to move you've got the arms you've got the legs you know you've got all sorts of um, objects to move so I'll just find see if I've got an object. So say for instance I've got Fred here, which is um a Cinema 4D template. Which comes free with Cinema 4D. Um what you would need to do with Fred is basically rig him. I'm not going to show you how to rig him at the moment because that will be a separate tutorial. But needless to say you can go to character, you'll create a joint, um place the joint, you know, wherever you want and basically create all your arms your leg joints and everything like that so once you've created that each part would have to be animated differently okay now if I see Fred here I can animate Fred just like this because there's no joints so if I was to put a keyframe there move my keyframe over to say 45 bring Fred over like that and add a keyframe that's easily done Fred has been animated sliding across the floor but obviously that doesn't look very realistic so if you was to have joints on this character you would move each joint in turn so what you would do is you would put you know click on the part you want to move for instance okay uh, add a keyframe move it then apply reapply a keyframe at his destination um, so that's what I mean by more advanced um, animating but in the next tutorial I will cover that in depth um, and in more detail this one is just to basically try and show you guys how to animate the simplest way or to start you off animating um, within Cinema 4D um, keyframing you know if I was to put it in an easier easier term um, do you remember years ago I don't know if you ever had a scrapbook and what you would do is you would draw a little picture in the bottom right hand corner and then turn each page and then add a movement um, 
and then when you finished all your pages you would flick through it and it would look like the characters moving well this is basically the same sort of concept it's just more advanced obviously um, and more smoother um, with the power of the Cinema 4D program but basically that is exactly what we're doing here um, we are just creating movement um, within our character so that is basically it really um, this is going to be uh, tutorial one for cinema 4D and animating. Um, the next one I'm going to be doing is going to be a more advanced tutorial trying to show you guys in my own way. Um, a lot of people you know, do tutorials on um, YouTube about animation, about cinema 4D, Maya, 3D Max, whatever. But this is my own uh, look at it, uh, my own opinion on it. Um, all I'm trying to do is um, try and make it as easy as possible for you guys. Um, so you can understand it in more detail so the next tutorial will be an advanced tutorial on animating a character or should we say a rig um, within cinema 4d um, so I hope you've enjoyed this um, please subscribe give this a thumbs up and um, I would appreciate it and if you've got any opinions or what you want to see me animate for the next tutorial um, I'll be doing the next tutorial in the next couple of days. Um, so, you know, if you want to see a car rigged and moved, or you want to see a character, or whatever you want to see, just let me know um, within the next couple of days. Leave a comment below, and I will try my very best um, to do, do a tutorial on that specific rig. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again.